Uh, so this will be a tree out in the bush and you come along and you tap on the tree. If it sounds kind of hollow, then you'll get your uh, axe and give it a good chop. Poke a little twig around. If the twig moves a fair bit, chop it down at the bottom, at the top, at the desired length you want. Generally speaking, the longer, the deeper the tone of the didgeridoo. Uh, they're fixed notes, so you can't change them. And once you get a good uh, stick that looks reasonably good, you chop off all the bark from the outside, strip it all off because the bark absorbs a lot of the noise. Um, clean out the gunk on the inside. There'll be uh, lots of sort of chewed up bits of wood from the termites or white ants that eat the inside out. It's their food. So yet again, we're recycling uh, something from nature that uh, being assisted by the animals and uh, we clear all the ants out because we don't want them to eat the instrument out anymore. Give it a good wash. Then we apply beeswax to the mouthpiece just so we can adjust the size and you can just make it to any size you want and then you can decorate it. I've decorated this didgeridoo here myself and uh, this didgeridoo represents the colours of the Aboriginal flag. The red is for the um, earth. Most of Australia is desert, red, the red centre, very big part of Australia. This also represents um, the blood that was spilled when uh, Australia was first colonised. And this is the yellow, which is the sun, a giver of life. And the black that represents the people. Uh, they, these are the colours designed by Harold Thomas in the Aboriginal flag. This is my hand imprint on here, and it's kind of like my signature really. This is my signature that says this is my didgeridoo. On the middle section here, got a big snake, which is very important in Aboriginal culture. Um, it's important for when young boys become men. Uh, it's important in a rainbow serpent created Australia, the hills and mountains. Also on the background here, we've got the dot painting technique, which is uh, very popular in Aboriginal art of Central Australia. And this uh, represents the bush. So if you imagine you were a bird flying high up in the sky and you look down, you'd see little clumps of spinifex grass and they look kind of like circles. Up here we've got the story with the circles linked together. This represents um, me and how fortunate I've been because of the didgeridoo that I've been able to travel around and meet people and share this wonderful instrument and share my cultural story. Uh, the, it's got the you know different colours and uh, represents different parts of me uh, and that's the story of uh, my didgeridoo.